Hey everybody, welcome to another AI Fuzz video. Um, tonight, or today, I wanted to show you something uh, I, I uh, just coded up real quick. Um, a new text-to-speech model was released a little while ago called Orpheus. And what it has going for it is that it has tries to replicate replicate as closely as possible human emotion when it speaks. And it does that the way it's trained, as well as tags that it uses for different sounds, like coughing, sighing, um, yawning. Um, so this, this text-to-speech model was uh, kind of came up on the scene unexpectedly, but we've tried it out, and it's pretty good. It's one of the better ones that we've seen in a while, if you're wondering. So <clears throat> I linked... Uh, Post a link to their hugging face where they have the model, gives you instructions and gets you to the GitHub. But I'm going to show you an easier way to work with this model and test it out. Um, I'm going to link to this GitHub. It's Orpheus TTS Local. And what this allows you to do is run Orpheus, uh, this model, through LM Studio locally on your machine. And I took it a step further. And I uh, made a little uh, a UI uh, that will puts everything together where you can actually test out the model and there's a text, um, there's a speech box and everything. So I'm going to walk you through the steps uh, on how to get this set up. First, you would have to install LM Studio. If you're not familiar with LM Studio, it's a pretty nice program. It lets you run different models, test them out. So here we are in LM Studio. So LM Studio, you're able to download models. A lot of the latest models, you see I have DeepSeek here, I have Gamma, and here I have Orpheus. So you just go into Models or Explore here and then search for Orpheus and it'll download for you. So right here, you can search for all these different models Then you're going to go into the developer tab where you would need to um, set up a server using this model. So you would choose the model and then there's a little tick box here where you can start the server and it would start running for you. All the dialog boxes are down here that gives you all the information. So keep that running. Next thing you would need to do is you would need to git clone the GitHub. I have that installed. Now when you have it installed, you're going to have this uh, wherever you have it installed. Now the, um, the node, the Python file that I made uh, right here, it's called Orpheus underscore GUI, it's this. So all you knew, I'm gonna actually, um, hopefully I can put this on the Google Drive, you can download this, and then you're just gonna move it to the root folder of the Orpheus. So all you do once you have it in there, you wanna go and uh, bring up the command prompt, and then you're gonna just type in Python, and then the name of that file. This Orpheus underscore GUI. And then once you hit enter, it's going to load up with the uh, GUI that I made. Orpheus text to speech um, has our YouTube channel. There's also different themes here you can choose Cyberpunk, there's a Nord theme, Light theme, whatever you want. My favorite is a Tokyo Night, and I'm just going to go over the GUI real quick. There is a speech box here. You want to type in what you want the model to say. And here you have the voices that you can use. Now these are voices that are preloaded, pre-trained by um, Orpheus, or by the uh, people that made Orpheus, and you can use any of these models. 
And here you can choose fine-tuned or pre-trained. Fine-tuned is fine for now, because you can also fine-tune your own models. Um, and I might make a video or give an option, or might make a, a video on how to do that later. The emotion tags. So these are what I was talking about. So if I type in something for it to say, I'll say, this is my dog, right? And then I can put a laughter one. His name is um, Toby, right? And then I can put a chuckle, a sigh, whatever I'm going to put in there, okay? So just click on it, and it'll add the tag into the speech box. There's um, generation parameters here, and I did list what describe what these do. So you can go ahead and play around with that. I would leave them as default for now. And also, it gives you a, generated, a list of generated audio files. Anything you may have generated in the past, it'll keep a history of that. And does save to an output folder as well, which is in the Orpheus main root. So once that happens, you're going to hit Generate. And if you want to go back to the terminal, It's going to go ahead and do its work under the hood. Tara, this is my dog. <laughs> His name is Toby. <laughs> I... Okay, so that was Tara's voice, and I didn't turn the speakers down. So it might have got echoey in there, but it sounds okay. I mean, it you know, it, it, it's pretty good. You can change the voice here. I'm going to choose this one. Hit Generate Audio. And it's going to go ahead and do that one next. And if you do notice, there is a... Um... We is my dog. <laughs> His name is Toby. <laughs> okay. That's... <laughs> that was um, Leo. But it does keep a history here of your auto fi audio files. And... Um, let me see if we can get this sound right here. We're going to do Leo again, but I'm going to turn off my mic. Leo, this is my dog. <laughs> His name is Toby. Caitlin, this is my dog. <laughs> His name is Toby. <laughs> All right, so that gives you a few voices, a little taste. And you can put in um, whatever you like here. I don't think there's, there's not going to be a limit on the amount of characters need in here. It's just going to take a little more. It's just going to take a little more time to get it generated the longer the speech is. But... Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. Play around with it. Let you know. Uh, let me know what you think. If there's anything I can improve the GUI with, um, and let me know, and then I'll, I'll I'll see what I can do. So hopefully you'll like and subscribe. AI Fuzz. And usually anything like this that's kind of new and you know kind of becoming one of the bigger things. Sometimes we want to I want to make things like this to make it easier for you guys to mess around with it. So I'll see, see you guys next time. Hopefully you have a good night and uh, thanks for watching.